Now today I'm reviewing the excellent game of Eclipse. This has got to be my favourite game. Um, it has been for many years. It's just this amazing game of galactic conquest. You have different species though that you can choose from. So this video is actually not going to be explaining the game itself, but it's actually about choosing which species you're going to play. Now all of these species have their different strengths and weaknesses. Um, which one you choose might depend on your particular mood on that day, uh, your personality, um, but we have so many choices. We've got seven different choices in the base game, and then with expansions you have additional choices. So what I'm going to do is review each of the species that are available in this video in the base game, and talk about the strategy you should use for playing those species after you've decided which one you're going to pick. Now, just to let you know, I'm not going to explain the rules of this game. Um, I'm assuming that you already know how to play Eclipse. Um, what I'm going to do in this video is just give you an overview, a very brief overview of each of the species that you can pick in the base game um, to help you to decide which one you'd like to go for. And also I'll give you some tips and strategies on how you should play these species. What are the things that you should be doing during the game when you are playing this species? What are the technologies you should be looking out for? How should you play the game? Now let's start with the Terrans. Now this is the species that you have when you first learn the game. It's a great introductory species. Um, basically there are six different Terrans to choose from, but they're all the same. Okay, so basically it's just a choice of which colour do you like. Now the main advantage of the Terran species is that it has three moves, whereas all the other species only have two. Um, so this is great for being able to get around the galaxy quickly. With this, that means you can have um, a single ship can move three times. Right? So that means you can have great defense of the territory. Um, so you can, if somebody comes in to attack you, you can just move a ship in and defend that hex. Uh, it's also great for attacking as well, so you can swiftly move into another player's territory and, and attack them. They also start off with star bases, so these will help you in defending your territory. Okay, so now let's look at the alien species. And First of all, let's look at the Hydran Progress. This is the blue species. Now this is a very popular pick. Um, every, Typically somebody picks this in every game that I play, really because they have a lot of power and, and that's because they're just good with technology. This species starts with advanced labs in addition to that, um, so that means that they actually are accumulating science very easily and quickly and then they can use this science for their research. Now here's the big thing, they actually have two research actions. So this means that they're getting the lion's share of all of these um, technologies as they come up. So really, the, the galaxy is your oyster, because technologies are the key to power in Eclipse. So generally, with this species, you can really have a good game, and you can play it in whatever way you like. So if you're into fighting, you can build a, a good arsenal of weaponry on your ships, um, otherwise, if you prefer a more of a um, passive game, uh, where you're a bit of a pacifist, then instead you can build some monoliths and live a life of ease. So this is really a, a powerful species. Um, generally, if you play it, as long as you play it well, you can do very well in this. Um, so make sure that you're accumulating, keeping your science um, ahead. So. Make sure you're getting science planets, so look for those pink planets. Uh, keep your science ahead, and the advanced labs will help you with that. Um, generally, in terms of victories, you will be getting easily getting some of these victory points for technologies, as well as conquering hexes and getting military victories as well. So, have fun with that one. Okay, now let's turn to the planter. Uh, this is the green species which is also very popular, really, with 
players who like to be a little bit less aggressive and just to have more of an easy life and to be, tend to be more um, pacific, that's a good word. Um, so basically these guys are great at exploring. Um, this is one of their key strengths, that they, every time they explore, they can explore two hexes. And the main way to win victory points in Eclipse is by conquering hexes. And so this species is particularly good at that, particularly early on in the game, and which gets them to spread across the galaxy quickly, right from the start of the game. Now, most species also have a weakness, and this one is possibly its military strength. Its ship blueprints are small. Okay, you notice the ships generally are a little bit smaller, um, although they do have a lot of strength in terms of their power. So this one has a power source of five. This one has five as well. This one has five. So that does mean that they can actually build up their weaponry with some um, cannons, uh, they can expand their cannons, get some plasma cannons, for example. Oh, they also have some computers, okay? So they, they get them to freebie computers as well, which sit on the side of the ship, which means that they are always there for all of their ships. Um, but generally, their ship's blueprints are smaller, so they don't really have the capacity to expand and get lots of weaponry. So they will generally not have as powerful ships as other players. And so the Greens can expect to have some of their conquered hexes taken away from them by the end of the game. So be prepared for this, and don't be too dismayed when it happens. The other players will actually need to do this if they have any chance of beating you. Because in addition to getting the normal victory points you get with hexes, um, the actual numbers that you get on them, you also get one extra victory point for every hex that you influence at the end of the game. Now, this species will be popular with non-aggressive players. Not only do you get the victory points for hexes, you will also get the extra one count for each hex you own, so almost a double count. Okay, now here's an interesting species, the descendants of Draco, the yellows. Now, these guys are actually friends with the ancients, which means that if they want to conquer them, they don't have to um, get rid of the ancients in those hexes. So you might have an ancient hex there, and that actually means that you can influence it and even start building ships there. And the ancients will quite happily coexist along with you. Now this is their strength, because it means that they can conquer very quickly these hexes and start gaining victory points from them. So two victory points here. But it's also their weakness. This means that they will not be getting into fights as much. And so they will not be getting those reputation tiles as victory points. Um, so the only way that they can actually fight is with other players, which might make them unpopular. Or if you have the expansions, you, you will have some other ways of fighting there. They do not start with any uh, technology at all. So they have to build that all up from scratch. Um, when they explore, they get to turn over two hexes. They choose which one they want, and then they will discard the other one. Now, they will maybe tend to target hexes with, with uh, ancients on them, uh, like this one has, uh, because they know that um, they can coexist with those ancients without having to conquer them. And the end, at the end of the game, they will get one extra victory point for every single ancient that is still existing in the game. Now, like the planter, this species tends to be non-aggressive and will be able to spread, though not quite as rapidly as the planter. Aha, right, the Eridani Empire. Now, this is an interesting species. As well as being, in my opinion, the ugliest of the species, they... Have, you have a bit of a challenge, okay? Now you do start with less influence discs compared with the other players. But to compensate for that, your orange starts right up here at 26. So your bank, you have a big bank account. So you have a lot of money compared with anybody else. OK, 
Okay, so this means because you have two less discs than anybody else, that means that your money will be tight and must be played carefully. You need to decide when to dig into this bank balance. Don't just rely on it to be there because eventually it will go. So you need to find ways of making sure that you have money because money means actions. So, and if you don't have money, you won't be able to, to actually play the game and do any actions. And you'll also not be able to conquer hexes. Okay, so not having money can be a disadvantage. So you'll need to plan well how you spend that money. So you'll need to know when to pass and when to dig into that bank account. For example, if you've got something coming up that you have a battle, maybe with some ancients, and you know that once you've won that battle, you will want to influence that hex, then you might want to pass early and make sure you have um, an influence disc available. Now, what technologies do you want to look out for? Well, basically, technologies that will gain you money. So, you want to be targeting the advanced robotics and the quantum grid. So look out for when they come up because you want to get hold of those. And that will then enable you to catch up with the number of influence discs that the other players have. And if you do manage to get these before anybody else does, then you'll actually be doing pretty well because you do have quite a few advantages as this player. You have a lot of weaponry. Okay, So you have a plasma cannon technology. You have a gauss shield technology and you have a fusion drive as well, which enables you to move faster than other players. Okay, so some nice, nice weaponry there, nice technology for your ships. Coming back to the technologies, other things you want to look out for are the advanced economy. Okay, so basically anything that will help you to gain money. Possibly an artifact key as well. Okay, now the Mechanema, the white species. The main strength of this species is their ability to build ships quickly and easily. This is because the cost of their ships is less than what any other species has to pay. And also, with a single build action, they can build up to three of them. They still need to have material to build these ships and they have no advantage in collecting this material. So in order to play the species to its strength, you want to find ways to accumulate material. When influencing hexes, target those brown planets where possible. In terms of technologies, you want to maybe look out for advanced mining and that will help you with getting more material. They start with the positron computer technology, but this generally can't be used right away because it does need power. You notice if you want to use, you want to upgrade your ship with a positron computer, it does need a power source of one. So you, you want to also target um, getting some technologies that will give you extra power for your ships, like the fusion source. You might want to target orbitals, okay, so you'll be able to build some brown orbitals and get some material that way. You should also aim to build monoliths, so once you get into the middle towards the end of the game you want to be looking to buy this monolith technology um, so that you can start building these, because these, like everything else, are much cheaper for you. You only have to pay eight material to build a monolith. Now the Orion Hegemony. These are the black guys. Now this is a species to play if you love a good fight. Their ship blueprints provide them with a lot of potential for good weaponry. Look at this. They've got the gauss shields. Okay, Every single blueprint has a gauss shield. They also have computers in ready abundance. And notice that they have power sources, so this, this one has five, this has six, and also look up here, they've got all of this initiative, 
all of their ships will tend to be able to shoot first in a battle. Now with these extra power sources, they'll be able to start upgrading their cannons. Um, so you might want to get the plasma cannon technology um, and start building some plasma cannons. Um, so yeah, you can really have some fun with this if you love a good fight. They also have the neutron bombs, so it, once they win a battle, they can do away with the population straight away. So this means that they will want to get into fights early. Um, they start off with a cruiser, rather than an interceptor, like the other players get. So they'll already have this on the starting hex. Um, so they will be able to grab the, the reputation tiles bag early on in the game and start getting their first picks of those reputation tiles. Now the downside of being a powerful fighter is that you can easily make enemies with the other players. But instead of that you can target the ancients where they appear. If there aren't enough ancients to fight then see if you can take out the galactic center's defense system and win that hex. Now fighting as well as reputation victory points also means taking over hexes but you will need to ensure you have enough money to do so. So look out for technologies that will help your income, such as the advanced economy, um, the advanced robotics, the quantum grid, uh, the artifact key. Okay, so you see, you need a steady flow of income in order to grab those hexes as you win those battles. So there we have it, a great number of different species to choose from. Some players like to stick with the same species each time they play a game and really learn that species and get to know its strengths. Um, which species you choose may depend just on how you're feeling that particular day. You might want to have a quiet life and just go for a, a non-aggressive species. Or you may be in a bit of a foul mood and maybe you want to play the hegemony and take, him out, take it out on, on people. So there you have it, uh, there is Eclipse, it's a great game, it's really good fun, and so enjoy!